What's up guys, it's Random Gaming 2.0 and today we're gonna do Top 10 Worst Remakes and Reboots Oh yeah, let's just get started. I have Woody the Woodpecker I haven't seen it, but it looks... I mean, it doesn't look too bad. I put on number 10 because it's not really that good looking I never watched the original cartoon, so it's just like when I saw it, I was like, why? And it's just like, why? It's not really... I mean, the animation doesn't look too bad all copyright goes to rightful owners. Let me just find it real quick. Where he actually shows up. Okay, I found it. See, it doesn't really look that bad. See? See? It really doesn't look too bad. It's just... Eh, I don't know. It's not really the worst, but it's just... Why? It's like everything's getting rebooted these days. Which another reboot that just recently came out, which I'll talk about later towards the end of the video. Next up, on number 9, I put Child's Play 2019. Like, I'm not hating on it, but it's just like, again, why would you want to reboot a famous franchise? It's like, if you were going to make a sequel, we just had one on Netflix, like, not even too long, not even like two years ago, we just had one, which was the Cold Tough Chucky, I believe it was called, something like that. Yeah, it's just like, why? I mean, I'm not hating on Mark Hamill or anything, but it's like, I think Mark Hamill's a great guy. But it's just like, why? Sorry for all the noises, because my brother's in this room. And it's like, it's cool that they rebooted it, but it's like, eh, it's not the worst, worst. Alright, at number... At number 8, I put the new Hellboy movie with David Harbour. Like, I like him too. I love him as Chief Hopper in... Stranger Things, but as Hellboy, it's like, really, why couldn't you get Ron Perlman? It's like, why reboot a franchise? I, you already got two sequels of it already. Because you had the second one, and then you had the animated one. Seems like, it doesn't, it looks horrible. I heard bad things about it. <laughs> but it's like, me, I never seen the original, so I don't know if it's any good or not, but it's just like, one of these days, whatever comes on Netflix, it will be on there. And you can see I painted my walls. I'll talk about that later. So yeah, why I put this on number nine, on uh, number eight, no. Yeah, on number eight, I put it on number eight because it's just like, it's not the bad, worst of the worst, but it's just okay. On number seven, I put Robin Hood from 2018. It was not a good reboot slash remake. I don't even know if it was a remake or a reboot, but it's just like, it was just not good. It was pretty violent too for a PG-13 rated movie. Spoilers that Jamie Foxx's character gets its arm ripped off and it's just like this is a PG-13 rated movie. Jesus Yeah Yeah, I put that number that number five uh, seven this is No, I put a number seven because it's just not that good number seven I put no, number, yeah, number six, I put the Lethal Weapon TV show. It's just because why would you want to ruin a good franchise like Lethal Weapon? I saw all four of them, and they were all pretty good. And it's just like the TV show is not really good. It's just not. Like, you got rid of Donald Glover and, what's his name? Mel Gibson. It's like, both of those were fantastic actors for the movie. And it's just like, you ruined the TV show. Thank God it's ending, because both of the actors quit the show. At number five, I put Fairly Odd Parents season ten, and it's the worst one. See, see, see I put this at number five just because the opening tells you how bad it is. I'll copy that goes to the rightful owners. Sorry, Bud Hartman. Sorry. Alright. Now I put that on number 5 because it's just ruining a great cartoon. Why, Nickelodeon? Why? You just ruined a great cartoon. But you actually made my heart better because you revived a great cartoon. But I'll get to that in a little bit. And then on number 4, I put the Banana Sports, the movie. Because it's just like... Hold on, where is it? 
It seems like they made a horror movie based off the Banana Splits, which was a great Hanna-Barbera cartoon. It's like, I'm watching this when it shows on TV, but it's just like, otherwise, it's just not good. It's just not good. Mm -mm, no. I put this on number four because I just question myself, why? Who would want to watch this? It's like the Banana Splits were mostly for kids. And it's just like, I mean, they got the designs right. See? 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 You made a good attempt, but it's just like, why? It's like... It's just like, why? Alright, all copyright goes to my full owners. I said that like ten times a day, but I will. Alright, our number... What did I say? Here's number three. I put the new Ben 10. Because it just looks horrible. It just looks uh, horrible. Because they ruined a good... Another good show. Cartoon Network does not know what to do with reboots. It just looks honestly horrible. I feel bad. But it's just like... Ben 10's not good. It just doesn't look good. It just doesn't. And that's why I put a number three. And in that number two, I put the new Powerpuff Girls 2016. And it's just like the new Powerpuff Girls just looks horrible. It's like they changed the voice actors and it's just like this too. For a kid's show. They put, this is a kid's show. See? This is a kid's show. It's just outstanding horrible. The only episode I actually watched of the show was the beginning, the, the first episode, and the fourth Powerpuff Girls member. That episode was good. The first episode I watched was not really that good. And it's just like, why? Just why? Cartoon Network does not know how to reboot a cartoon. Which I'm going to talk about very shortly. After, oh, Jesus, that scared me. And at number one, of course, you know I expect it. I put Teen Titans Go! Because you're ruining a good Cartoon Network series that actually made me want to watch Teen Titans. It was just so good. It was superhero combined with a little bit of comedy, just like any Marvel movie. But it was from DC, which is even better. And like Teen Titans Go! It's just horrible. It's just not. I watched like maybe the first two seasons, and then just after that, it's just become less horrible. And it's just like... And it's just like, there's a lot of ghosts out here and stuff, and it's just like, who is this meant for? Just end Teen Titans Go Cartoon Network. Revive a cartoon, which I'm going to talk about in a little bit, in about one minute. Oh, this video is almost about to be ten minutes. Perfect. Just the way I liked it. Okay. <sighs> and then here's the multiple ranchers that didn't make the list, but were actually pretty good, in my opinion, to reboot a franchise. And then here's a good franchise. And yes, I actually did watch it. It was amazing. Which is Vocals Modern Life Static Clang. It was a good reboot. A good one. Because cause it was just a great reboot. Nickelodeon knows what they're doing. Because at least with Nickelodeon, Vocals Modern Life ended like in 96. And they haven't told us how what happened. But they did. So yeah, I loved it. It was good. All the characters were there. Even all the special characters like Peaches. Dr. Bentover. And some of the other characters like... The turtle's wife guy with the, the hook hand. And so many other famous characters. I mean, they made cameos. Even really, really big man. Rockless Modern Life Static Cling was the best reboot I've seen from Nickelodeon yet. And it's just like, it was just so good. It's just outstanding. And they did transgender just right. Because Rockless Modern Life Static Cling is just all about change. And it's just like, I like that. It was good. And of course, whoopsie. Like, Static Cling was great. Even though it was rumored to come out two years ago. I've waited those two years, but it was still good. See? This is how you do a reboot kid, folks. This is my favorite part of the whole thing. Because they did the opening. Yeah. And then that number, and then honorable mention number two, I put Kim Possible, that Disney Channel just released in February, which was good. I liked it. It was good, but not, <laughs> it was just fantastic. It was a good reboot. I loved it. I don't know why many people hated on it. I liked it. It was good. It was good. Those are the only two honorable mentions on this list. And I'll put the list in full later once the video comes out. 
later today, and it was pretty good. So I'll see you guys later for the next video.